Welcome to the primer on the Ducan diet. Inside of this short video, you'll discover the basics of the Ducan diet and learn how to start applying it immediately. The Ducan diet has taken the world by storm, as you've most likely heard from TV, radio stations, and news outlets. The diet is somewhat similar to the Atkins diet, but it's not as extreme. For example, limiting carbohydrates is a similar technique that the Ducan diet suggests, but the Ducan diet is far less restrictive depending on which phase you're in. You'll also discover that unlike other diets out there, you can actually eat anything that you want at certain phases of the diet. Let's take a look at the basics. Phase 1, Attack. In Phase 1, you eat nothing but lean protein, and you can eat as much of it as you want. There is no calorie counting. You're allowed to eat meats like fish, chicken, and beef. Just make sure to eat meats that are typically lower in fat and stay away from pork. You'll also be able to eat non-fat dairy such as cottage cheese and eggs. These are great sources of protein. On top of this, you're also required to eat at least one and a half tablespoons of Opran per day. As you can see, the Ducan diet is similar to the Atkins diet due to the low carbohydrates in phase one. The difference here is that Opran is allowed. Now, why is that? It's because Opran happens to be extremely high in fiber, which means a lot of the carbohydrates can't even be broken down and digested by your body. In Phase 1, you're also required to drink at least 1.5 liters of water per day. Phase 1 can last anywhere from 1 to 10 days, depending on what your requirements are. Phase 2, Cruise. The cruise phase introduces vegetables into your diet. Fruit isn't allowed, but we'll get to that later. You're allowed to eat an unlimited amount of vegetables in phase two, as long as they're more of the non-starchy variety. Vegetables like peas, carrots, and corn aren't allowed. However, vegetables like lettuce, spinach, and green beans are. To be clear here, this is on top of the lean meats and protein sources from the first phase. The oat bran and water requirements from phase one still apply to phase two. An important note about phase two is that you alternate days as far as lean protein and vegetables. For example, you'll have one day that's just like the attack stage, and the next day is like the attack stage but with all the vegetables that you want. This is a never-ending alternation and it lasts for the entire duration of phase two. Phase three, consolidation. Phase 3 is like a combination of Phases 1 and 2, but with a little more freedom. In Phase 3, you do everything that you heard in Phases 1 and 2, but now you're allowed to eat meats like pork. You also get one piece of fruit a day, two slices of whole grain bread per day, and just a little bit of cheese. You're also allowed one to two servings of starchy food, and you're allowed one to two celebration meals per week. Your celebration meals consist of anything and everything that you would like. And lastly, Phase 4, Stabilization. In Phase 4, you can eat whatever you'd like and you will not gain weight, as long as you abide by the following. One day per week, follow the Phase 1 attack part. You're also required to have 3 tablespoons of Opran per day and to walk for 20 minutes per day. Artificial sweeteners are allowed as well as sugar-free gum. If you're not much of a water drinker, the good news is that you can have diet drinks because they usually use some sort of artificial sweetener. By now, you should have a good understanding of the Ducan diet and how it works. Good luck on your weight loss journey and here's to your health.